Here's how to get all the feathers in a short hike. Hello friends, welcome back to High for Games. My name is Joseph, and here we are with another video on a short hike. This time to find all the feathers for the Feather Finder Silver Trophy and the Feathers Forever Gold Trophy. After starting the game and talking to Aunt May, we follow the trail forward while grabbing as much pony and seashells as we can find. Also, talk to the kid nearby who will give you the quest to find 15 seashells. Passing the bridge, we talk to the wall for the compass. This is not needed, but helpful to locate the feathers. Continue the path ahead, grabbing all the coins and seashells you can find along the way. At various points, we are going to come back to this area to talk to this kid building sand castles here. With 40 coins, we can buy the first feather from the ranger shop in the southern section of the map. So talk to him and you can buy it. Keep looking for more money as we'll need 40 more coins to come back for the other feather he has in stock. Left from the ranger area, you can find a very visible feather on a small hill. Climb by holding X and you can reach it right away. That's your second feather. Continue moving left and you'll find another seashell, more money and a toy shovel which we are going to bring back to the kid that was building sand castles. But before that, head south and talk to the artist. You need to talk to him several times to get another feather Look for the clues he tells you where he's going next. Continue going back to the kid building castles and trade the shovel. You will now be able to dig by equipping it in the menu and pressing circle. At this point you should have 40 more coins, so go back to the ranger area and buy another feather, your third one. Now we're going to keep looking for money as we need 100 more coins. From the ranger we move north into the forest and you'll find our fourth feather on top of a rock. The artist is here as well, so talk to him and check what he says about his next location. After that, head up north to the lighthouse and walk the path where the shadow of the lighthouse hits the ground. You will need a map to learn about this, but if you don't care, just dig at this spot and you'll find a chest with feather number 5. We can also fly on top of the lighthouse to find another chest with feather number 6. From the lighthouse we move west until we reach this path that will lead us to the outlook point, follow it passing the rivers and you'll get to a point where the road splits. Before going up to outlook point walk to where the fence ends and drop to find feather number 7 on a small ledge. Go back up to the Outlook Trail, past the Outlook Point House, and you'll find a chest with feather number 8. From the Outlook Point House we travel north, we're going to find this tough guy at the base of the next mountain, but we're not to talk to him yet. Instead, head to the path left of the tough guy, follow the river to find the artist and talk to him again. Moving on, we'll follow the river south from the artist and we'll find this tower right here. Land on top and open the chest for another feather, this time our ninth one. Leave the tower and travel northwest until you find these kids playing beach stick ball. After they explain you how to play, get 10 points in the game for the 10th feather, 
and the feather finder trophy should unlock. In the same spot you can also get 20 points for more money and 30 points for another trophy, a video you can check out here. After the game keep moving left to find a series of islands, here you can talk to this guy to rent the boat for 100 coins. And after that keep looking for coins because we're gonna need 100 more. Talk to the kid close to the boat to start a quest, continue the quest until you can take and complete the challenge in under 2 minutes for feather number 11. Here you can also get the not a scratch trophy which I go in depth in this other video here. Coming back from the islands and close to the kids, there's a graveyard where you'll find the artist again so talk to him. Before leaving, climb the series of ledges on the western side of the graveyard for another feather, our number 12. We continue traveling left looking for money and shells, and you should be pretty close to where we started talking to Aunt May. At this point you probably have all the shells, so talk to the kid again and accept her quest. After giving the necklace to your Aunt May, she'll give you feather number 13. Go back south to where you find the kid building sandcastles, he should have built a small city, and talk to him about the elections he's running. We still need to wait a bit until he digs another feather, so let's continue. Now we're moving northwest back to Outlook Point, and there you'll find the artist. Talk to him and after that we just need to find him one more time for the next feather. Head up north back to the tough kid and you should have 100 to pay for a feather. He has a total of 4 feathers to buy from him, but only get the first one for now and keep looking for more money until we save 520 coins. We now have 14 feathers. East from the tough kid is located you'll find a small pond with a water bucket that you can use to put out fires, we also have that video and you can check it out here. Jumping right from this area there's another small ledge with feather number 15. With 15 feathers or even a little bit less we can go to the mysterious island east of Hog Peak. You can see this island from Outlook Point and is located in the direction of the lighthouse. On the mysterious island you can get more money and climb to the top for a silver feather. Silver feathers don't add up to your stamina, instead they increase your movement speed so that you use less. There's only two silver feathers and both count towards the feathers forever trophy. We go back to Hog Pig Island and it's time to check out on our friend building sandcastles. He should have dug up enough sand to uncover our feather number 16. After that head back to the ranger area and you'll find the artist is back, so talk to him one last time and he'll give you another feather, this one's number 17. If you have gotten 520 coins we can go for the last 3 feathers, but if not continue exploring for coins you can dig up, chests, or even go fishing for another trophy and we have a video to help you on that here. For the remaining 3 feathers we go north of Outlook Point again to talk to the tough guy. Now don't ask to buy more feathers, otherwise you'll end up spending more money. Instead ask him about his deal, he'll tell you he needs 400 coins, after that offer him the money for tuition. Paying for his expenses will net you a watch, plus a discount on the next 3 feathers, with each costing 40 instead of 100, the same price from the ranger shop. Buy the last 3 and that is all for the 20 golden feathers, but not the trophy as we still need one silver feather. 
With the watch on your inventory, travel back to the ranger area and a little bit to the northeast, you'll find these trailer camps. A goat here will tell you he has lost his watch, so give it back for the second silver feather and the trophy is yours. And there you have it, that's how you earn both trophies in a short hike for finding all the feathers. What are your thoughts on this game? Share them in the comments below, like or dislike to share your feedback, check out other videos you may like while you're here including more videos on a short hike and consider subscribing for more PlayStation content. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is Hype for Games and let's get hyped!